Welcome to my unboxing of a Samsung Smart TV. So this is part of their 6 series. Alright, and the reason I'm unboxing this is that I need it for a demo that I will be doing. Once we have the TV set up in a new retail store that I'm actually not sure if it is yet announced and I'm getting kind of a funny look from cameraman but I think he's kind of saying no no it's okay don't worry about it because it'll be announced soon so anyway yes that is why I am opening up this TV and there are some pretty cool things about this particular one right here that I do want to demo so this is a smart TV does it say that on the other side of the package ah it does okay that is exactly what cameraman's looking at over there. So a smart TV, what does that mean? It means you have a web browser, so you can access the internet on your big screen. You also have a smart hub, which is a new convenient way of experiencing constantly growing content with Samsung Smart TV. And it also means that you can use the network connection to access additional functionality that TVs were previously not capable of doing. So. The first thing we find inside is a little brackety bit. The next thing we find inside is a piece of foam. Very thin packaging. Here, we're gonna, oh yeah, we're totally gonna do it. Check it out, check it out. iPhone thickness comparison to show you guys the size or the thickness of the packaging of this particular television set. Uh, okay. Piece of foam coming out. I don't know. Cameraman made some kind of gesture at me. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Oh, I'm going to have to put this on the floor. Give me a sec, guys. All right, so the first thing we found here was a big sign that says, Stop! If you have a problem with your TV, follow these steps before you return your TV to the store. I'm having trouble reading upside down, so I'm going to go ahead and look at this. Reboot the TV, an external device, confirm you have selected the correct video source, all that good stuff. There's the stand. I did take that, uh, or I did unpack that off camera just to make life a little bit easier for myself and cameraman here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull off the cover so I can show you guys. And I haven't even told you what model this is. This is the UN46D6300SF. So basically all you need to know is it's 46 inches, actually I'm going to leave this on for now until I put it onto the stand, it's 46 inches, it is 6 series, so this is not the highest series, but it's also not the lowest series from Samsung. It has 240 hertz technology, which basically just means that uh, with a 60 hertz signal it is, here, uh, it is injecting more black frames in order to give you that clearer, smoother sort of appearance. I just did my iPhone 4 thickness comparison. Let's go ahead and have a look at the... Hold on. I'm just going to turn around here. Yeah, let's have a look at what we got in terms of inputs over here. So, we have USB, USB, digital audio out, USB. We have four HDMI ins, including one that is apparently compatible with DVI. We also have AV in, which is using... Ah, yes, I can reach. Using a breakout cable capable of accepting um, both component as well as your stereo audio connectors. Next we have PC in, which is VGA, antenna in, so there's your coaxial. You've also got composite in, so that's the AVN2. And finally, you've got audio out, EXT link, okay, and a LAN port. So there's a ton of input options and output options over here. And uh, oh, this is interesting. For best cable connection to this product, be sure to use cables with maximum thickness as below. There you go, maximum thickness 0.55 inches. Fascinating. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mount this to the stand, and then we'll be pretty much ready to show it to you properly because right now I have to hold the thing up while I'm doing this. So in terms of setup, all you got to do is take the stand here on the back, slide it into position. It's important to slide it into position rather than trying to push it into position because uh, otherwise it will not line up correctly with the bottom two holes. So we go ahead, we put four screws in here. One, two, three. Hey, look, there's a Kensington lock on the back here as well. So you can secure your TV with one of those little notebook security locks. All right, once that's done, there are four more screws, which we'll use in a moment, but we're going to go ahead and take the TV and put it onto the stand. So here we go. 
Yeah, yeah. And it balances right there, which makes these screws significantly easier to install. Let's get those out. TV assembly has gotten like so simple now. As you can tell, I don't do TVs that often. I ended up with two extra leftover screws. Would you like to know why? Well, the reason is because I'm supposed to do these four screws. So putting this piece into the bottom stand first and then put the whole thing into the TV. For now, I'm gonna leave it so that I can just show you guys how the TV looks and the uh, accessories that are included with it. So we've got your standard Samsung remote. This looks exactly like the Samsung remote that I have at home for my TV. And then we've also got some batteries for the remote. Here are those breakout cables that uh, I told you guys existed. I'm not sure if you believed me, but there you are. So there's your component, there's your composite. It's really nice of Samsung to include these because uh, sort of weird adapters can often be very, very difficult to source. Uh, these are for using the vase mount. Okay, these look like some kind of spacer thing that goes on here. So there you have that. Uh, it does have a vase mount just in case you guys didn't know. And uh, next thing we find back here, besides the little cable management piece, is the low profile. Hey, check that out. This TV has an included power brick in spite of its thinness. So there's your power in, nice low profile cable so you can go ahead and run that somewhere discreetly. So let's, uh, oh, hey, there's your rotation. So you can uh, pivot that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the plastic covering so you guys can see what the finished product looks like. Simply gorgeous. TVs are getting so thin now. Unbelievable. Okay, so thank you for checking out my unboxing of the UM46D6300SF. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And I really look forward to bringing you guys some video content about the smart TV features of this particular product upcoming. And Cameraman raged at me because I forgot to mention throughout all of this that NCIX sells TVs now. So yes, when you go to the new NCIX store, which I'm not the one who told you about, you can buy TVs there. Cool beans.